Hey guys, it's Renee. Today we're going to be painting Hello Kitty on our phone case. So for that, the first thing we need is a phone case. Now the phone case that I'm using is kind of like acrylic. It's flexible. As you can see, it's pretty gross because I reuse this one every month. I paint it, then remove the paint and paint it over and over and over. So that's why it looks like kind of gross and just with leftover paints from previous projects. For this one, I'm going to be painting it with my brush and with some white acrylic paint. And I'm going to be adding a few coats, like three or four coats until it's opaque enough. I'm just going to be taking my sharpie and I'm going to be working with the finest tip of the sharpie and this is because I need to create a base for the face. Now Hello Kitty is pretty easy it looks like but she's actually really complicated because it's really easy to mess up uh, when you don't have that many details. And once I have done that I'm just going to be taking my dotting tool, a big one. I bought this at a nail supply store but you can use the back of a barbecue stick as well and some black paint and I'm just going to add two dots one underneath the other one and then with a toothpick I'm just going to kind of like complete that oval shape because her eyes are oval and once I have done that I'm just going to be taking the same toothpick and I'm just going to go and draw the or paint the whiskers now you can take a small brush like a real fine art brush but I just used the toothpick for this I found it easier at this point I'm just going to be taking a yellow acrylic paint and I'm going to just add the nose the nose is uh, the same with the eyes but in this direction and yeah I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the toothpick and once I have done that I'm just going to be taking my uh, red acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the bow now the bow is pretty much depends on you and your personal taste but I wanted to go for the classic bow so for that I did one dot a huge one on the middle and then I added four more as I did with the eyes and the um, nose and then with my toothpick I'm just going to give this bow some shape until I'm pretty happy with how it looks I went online and searched for uh, an image of Hello Kitty and her bow because I wanted it to be as close as the a classic we could say bow as I could get it to be and yeah that pretty much helped me and then I took this detailed brush this real small brush I got it at Hobby Lobby I'm going to be taking my black acrylic paint and I'm going to draw the edges so it looks like kind of cartoonish and actually give the bow some character so it was pretty handy to look at the image of Hello Kitty And then once it's done and dry, you want to make sure it's dry because if not, especially the red will bleed. I'm going to be taking my uh, gloss. I bought this one at Home Depot and I use it all the time. And I use gloves when I do this step. And I think uh, this design looks a bit better, a bit more professional, we could say, than if I didn't add anything. And then I let it dry for about 24 hours or until I, I feel like it's not tacky anymore. I add a piece of paper to protect my phone. I use this phone case all the time, so I just want to make sure that nothing happens to my phone. Then you place it between your phone and your case. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but and you're pretty much good to go. I just want to share this one. I love Hello Kitty. Let me know if you like it too. I remember when I was younger, I used to go to the Samri store, and Hello Kitty was my fave as well as Kiropi. And I just used to go crazy with this store. I just loved going just to the store and just looking around. So hopefully you like it too. And here I'm just using my Hello Kitty laptop bag that I love again. I bought this one at Office Depot, I think it was. Anyways, I just want to share this one. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below what you think of this one. Don't forget to visit cutiepulse.com. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.